Jacobs University in Bremen. Privately funded and international, it's unique in Germany. It has 1,200 students from around the world. But getting a place is tough. Jacobs University is an elite campus for tomorrow's leaders. This is 19-year-old Devashish Tikekar from India. He wants to go into logistics, to become an expert in planning and organizing. But at the moment, he has little time for studying. 90% of my time at Jakobs is dedicated to sports. 10% goes in thinking about sports. And this is Yetunde Odunsi. The 22-year-old Nigerian is studying biochemistry. She wants to become a doctor. She's also an enthusiastic dancer and keen to share her knowledge. Like as soon as you just watch someone doing it, you just join them. You go, oh, hey, hey, something like that. You know, it's really... <laughs> Jan Eichhorn is German. The 21-year-old is studying sociology. He's a mover and shaker and wants to make the world a better place. You can start with small steps and develop from there. And he mixes a mean cocktail. We mix them well, but and not with best. love. And with love. And with love. All the drinks we do are with love. Jan, yes. I need one of your special drinks for Philip. Okay, I will. I, I just want to say cheers. Joachim Treusch, the university's president, is one of the most important scientists in Germany. He's been running Jakobs University for two years. What can you do to, uh, what is the chief evil of HIV infection and how can you target that? Well, one of the chief evils... The fight example, against AIDS. The, the immunology course looks at the challenges facing medicine. It's a small group with big ambitions and a top-class professor. Yetunde is to sit her bachelor's exam soon. Her ambitions were clear early on in life. It probably when I was six, when my brother was born, I was choosing between as becoming an astronaut or becoming a medical doctor. So I decided to go for the medical doctor because mommy said she doesn't want any child of hers going to the moon. So, yeah. Rugby instead of reading. Devashish has only just started his course. He prefers getting stuck in on a sports field to working, despite the tough nature of the game. <laughs> If you're afraid of getting injured, you won't play this game. <laughs> oh, down. Down. Go. Oh. Jan, the sociologist, isn't as sporty as Devashish, but he can still move things. In the past two years, I've spent the summer doing projects in Africa, in Nigeria and Tanzania. We put up an extra building for a new school outside Dar es Salaam. They needed another building in order to be big enough to get government funding. There's plenty to do on campus. Jan and his friends are checking out the fitness studio. But they're not happy with the weights room. Well, the problem is if you look around here, you see that there's very, very little space up here. It's not a proper gym. So um, if nothing happens, we agreed for one year this is okay. But if nothing happens, then we're going to be very angry. Okay, that let's go. It's an issue that might end up being settled by the president. From the gym to the stars, aerospace company EADS has a center here. Devashish and his fellow logistics students have been granted access. This is where parts of the International Space Station are being built. Getting them into space and keeping them running is a huge logistical task. Jakobs University emphasizes the connection between economics and technology. Devashish and his fellow students also check out the astronauts' bunks. 
They have to familiarize themselves with technical systems. We confront them with that. We take them out into space to show them what the possibilities are. And these things are applicable to everyday uses. We're going to make it back in time for dinner. The trip has left the Jakob students hungry, but has got them thinking. Reach for the stars and you might actually land on the moon. That's what they said, right? We promised the students that they would get the gym. And I don't think we should well, construct, yeah, no, yeah, but construct yeah, but we don't, yeah, but Jan and his friends are heading for a confrontation. They feel the fitness studio is too small for them. They have some strong arguments. But Joachim Troisch has some too. Next week, you can see who wins.